they're researchers, innovators, entrepreneurs. As part of the Your Access Services Network and Your Access Worldwide webinar series, we are presenting to you today a topic entitled Career Beyond Academia, Scientific Entrepreneurship. Find out what your access can offer you. Our speakers and experts on the topic are Marina Koslik Mercatelli and Ilaria Pier Domenico. I would like to give them a very warm welcome and introduce them briefly. Marina has been working for the Area Science Park in Trieste, Italy since 2009, dealing with support to startups, intellectual property and contractual issues, European and international project development, and implementation in the areas of entrepreneurial development, technology transfer and innovation management. She is currently involved in customer care support to tenant companies in the park and is providing consultancy for the Horizon 2020 and Horizon Europe program within the National Agency for the Promotion of European Research Help Desk for the Fruili Venezia Giuli region. Ilaria has been working for the Area Science Park in Trieste, Italy since 2008 on activities related to international and intersectorial mobility. She has been involved in the implementation of the regional policies to attract international researchers and students, such as the Welcome Office. From 2010, she has been actively working on Euraxis as Euraxis Center Manager and Portal Administrator of the Euraxis Italy National Portal. On other also related projects and initiatives for the valorization of human capital. She has a significant expertise on national immigration policies and international mobility related issues. As you can see, both ladies are truly experts on today's topic. Now, Marina Ilaria, the floor is yours. Thank you. Um, we would like to, to thank uh, Vicky and Euraxis Worldwide for this opportunity. And we are very pleased to, uh, to introduce you to this new topic and to present, uh, I think this is the first time that we present the easy to use manual, the online version that we have realized uh, within the uh, top four project. I'm now going to share the screen and the presentation. Um, let me give you um, where is the um, condivisio? Yeah. Do you see our screen? Yes. Okay. So let's start with. Uh, okay. The. Uh, Okay, who we are, the content of this presentation, who we are. Vicky, thanks for the introduction. Um, then we would like to give you an overview on scientific entrepreneurship and uh, what valorization of the research results means. And then we will focus on, as I told you before, the easy to use manual on scientific entrepreneurship, the online version. So we will see uh, directly from your access website. We are okay. Where is Trieste? Just as you know, a picture of, of Italy, just to give you an idea where we are located. It is a small city, beautiful. We invite you to come here, uh, which is located in the northeast of Italy. Our neighbor are uh, Slovenia and Austria, for example. Okay, uh, Aria, a couple of words of, uh, of Aria Science Park, which is one of the most important and historical scientific and technology park uh, in Italy. It has been founded in 1978. Uh, over the last uh, few years, it becomes to, um, to, get, to be uh, an innovation agency. Here you have two beautiful pictures of our two campuses located in, uh, in Trieste. Trieste is uh, the city here uh, beside the sea. And uh, this is the campus where we are located right now. And these are the other campus in Basovica. And here you can see the shape, the circular shape of Elettra Synchrotrone, which is an international facility. Um, Aria hosts nearly 70 companies and research centers. For example, the Elettra Synchrotrone 
facility. And here in Padriciano, we host the International Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology, among, among the others. Um, some data about the employees. We are very uh, young uh, um, entity. 50% uh, we are under 40 um, years old, over 2,800 employees. Uh, ARIA works on four pillars. One of these is the new creation uh, of business, so startup development and support. And that's why uh, Marina will explain you better later. We have been involved in, uh, in this project. Um, ARIA is also the managing authority in charge of the um, development and managing of a scientific system, a scientific and innovation system of Rulli Venezia Giulia. That is um, a networking initiative uh, supported by the regional authority, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Ministry of Research and um, University. The aim of this network is to boost, to enhance the region attractiveness and competitiveness. Um, the network is made by uh, 18 national, international research centers, universities and scientific parks. Uh, we have shown you the picture of Italy and the small dimension of our region, so uh, it is very um, unusual to have uh, uh, a very high number of uh, um, research centers, international, national, uh, four scientific parks in a very such small uh, territory. I invite you to visit the website dedicated to uh, CIS, to scientific and innovation system and to watch the videos that we have realized in the um, your, in the uh, YouTube uh, dedicated channel just to give an overview of what CIS can offer um, to international researchers in terms of opportunities and collaboration. Now I'll give the floor to Marina uh, and she will introduce you to uh, the concept of valorization and research uh, results. Thank you, Elaria. Hello to everybody. Uh, before I move to the, um, the main topic of this uh, webinar, which is an easy to use manual on scientific entrepreneurship, I would like to just uh, take a couple of minutes to uh, dedicate a couple of minutes to knowledge valorization and European valorization policy, um, which has its goal to increase the impact of research and innovation uh, investment. Uh, when we talk about European valorization policy, I would like to um, actually say that even though the, uh, we talk about the um, uh, European Union, it is actually, um, it is actually uh, worthwhile saying that uh, this policy and all the measures and tools that are actually included within it uh, refer not only to the European members member state, but also to the associated countries and uh, within the uh, various bilateral, uh, bilateral agreements, it includes countries worldwide. Um, European uh, valorization policy actually um, defines uh, valorization, knowledge valorization as transformation of knowledge and ideas into innovative solutions that benefit not only researchers, but it actually benefits us all. Uh, and it actually uh, includes, um, uh, through its promotion of knowledge, uh, various channels uh, referring to industry academia collaboration, uh, spin-offs and startups, uh, intellectual property, but also citizens engagement. It is actually, um, it, it involves all players that are uh, that are, that are there to uh, ensure that data, research results, and innovation transforms into sustainable products and services worldwide. Uh, industry academia collaboration, as you can see, focuses mainly focuses on fostering a mutual exchange between the knowledge generators. Um, it is there to also ensure the private investment in research that are very necessary in order to have more inventions and patents actually um, brought into the market. It facilitates the flow of knowledge and talents into companies, also very important. Uh, not less important, understanding market needs in order to actually enhance researchers' skills. Uh, and as last but not least, uh, increase entrepreneurial culture among researchers. We can move on. Um, academia, industry, joint and research mobility is uh, actually refers to the exchange of industry academia 
uh, that helps academic knowledge and results uh, flow into industry. And the European Union at this point has uh, developed um, all sorts of initiative and initiatives and tools, such as contractual public-private uh, partnership, that should actually uh, speed up the process of uh, receiving the results uh, obtained in laboratory and taken into the market. Uh, Large-scale research initiatives, such as future and emerging technology, is also one of the initiatives that turns scientific, advance, uh, scientific advances into concrete innovation opportunities, putting together not only academia, but also industry and SMEs. Um, I'm sure that you all know or you heard of Marie skoldowska Curie Action actions uh, as a program that actually supports uh, mobility and joint research programs for researchers. Um, I invite you to read more about these uh, initiatives on, on the links that we will uh, leave to you within the pre presentation. Research-driven spin-offs and startups. Uh, spin-offs and startups are also very important um, uh, because they offer to students or academics an entrepreneurial uh, way to commercialize uh, their research results. In this sense, the European Union uh, has, um, let's say, mm, has put uh, in, in, in very large light uh, European Innovation Council uh, that has uh, become uh, right now the one of the programs uh, that is actually included into the new um, financing period of, uh, of um, European policy that is actually dedicated to the next generation technologies and the scale up of startups and, uh, and uh, innovation projects. European Research Council, Proof of Concept in particular, on the other hand, is actually um, covering the part of really early stage of research in turning into, into the uh, commercial uh, proposition. Um, when we talk about intermediaries and knowledge transfer, we, all, we talk about uh, technology transfer offices, we talk uh, about business incubators, scientists, uh, scientific, uh, scientific parks such as RS Science Park, for example, uh, which are actually um, usually the, the, the first points of reference to researchers and also to the startups. Um, and here we have also uh, some, some uh, initiatives that are, I would like to uh, stress uh, and, and put to your uh, attention, such as Knowledge Innovation Community, which is a partnership putting together uh, businesses, research centers and universities. Horizon uh, re uh, Research Result Booster, which actually helps uh, tailor-made support to disseminate research results and bring it to the market. We also have Technology Transfer Office, um, uh, let's say, uh, community that brings together and share best practices and knowledge and experience properly to provide a professional uh, supportive technology transfer. Um, I, I, I could not, uh, but not insert also AOR Access, as we are also actually really pleased to be a part of, and uh, which actually supports researchers mobility and career development. Um, before creating uh, and working on the manual, we have asked ourselves what is the actual actual right uh, definition of entrepreneurship and what is scientific entrepreneurship? And uh, there were many, there are many uh, definitions and we were asking ourselves which is the right one? Actually, at the end, we, uh, we understood that they all were right um, because each one of them actually uh, points out uh, various approach to entrepreneurship and how to obtain it. Um, let's say here we have uh, inserted uh, two statements, there are other than definitions. Uh, first one uh, defines entrepreneurship, uh, um, defining it when you act upon opportunities and ideas and transform into value for others. This uh, quote is actually taken from uh, an entrepreneurship competence framework, which I invite you to read because um, it's, it's, a, it's a tool 
developed by the Joint Research Center of the, uh, of the Com uh, European Commission, uh, that actually defines and, um, and outlines the competencies uh, necessary to actually um, uh, enter and uh, bring out the, 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 what is necessary to actually um, enter into the world of entrepreneurship. Uh, here you find you have link, and uh, I really do invite you to to read it. Um, the next uh, the next quote is actually uh, has become a leitmotiv of our uh, manual, and I will explain why. Because defining scientific entrepreneurship. Um, Mark Ferguson, which is a chair of uh, European Innovation Council Advisory Board, has defined it in a very, let's say, um, very practical way. Uh, I will read it because uh, it actually says says really says much about it. it. Says turning science into business is about recognizing opportunity. Then it is about ensuring critical things can be done, whether that is another experiment, market research, licensing, or a patent that requires a focused effort and financing. And sometimes it requires a different person other than the, the academic to take it forward. Um, why did we find it so, uh, so important? Because at the end of the day, um, when we talk about manuals, uh, the, the idea behind the manual on scientific entrepreneurship was to actually create a simple, interactive and easy to use tool um, that actually offers simple uh, information and also tools uh, to who is interested in moving from academia to uh, a business world. Um, the structure is actually inclu includes uh, five uh, self-assessment uh, steps or tools. Uh, it includes also entrepreneurial vocabulary because uh, we all sometimes are faced with the terminology that we think we know what it means, but we are actually not sure what it means. And uh, we have uh, tried to actually insert the, into the manual, the, let's say, the most uh, typical uh, keywords that could be of use for the researcher uh, in order to actually understand sometimes what is the context all about. We inserted also um, dedicated services or intermediary um, supporting uh, institutions uh, that are there to actually provide the first uh, information, the first base, and also to actually later on uh, provide services uh, uh, in order to move on within the process of, uh, of the developing uh, the entry into the market. Um, the idea behind the manual was also to provide a short overview of EU accelerators and incubators, the major ones, and also EU financing programs, um, especially those that are uh, supporting scientific entrepreneurship. Then we asked ourselves, uh, how can we actually make the manual even more practical? And uh, we have, uh, thanks also to our uh, to the, the, the Aria Science Park, that we have access to startups and spin-offs uh, as one part of our uh, business incubator. Um, we have asked uh, researchers that have actually made their, their dream thing, uh, come true and uh, have created a startup. We have asked them, um, uh, what can you actually, is there something that you would like to share with uh, your future colleagues uh, about things that uh, went well, things that didn't go well, uh, and uh, for the, in order to ease the process? And they did. So we inserted also do's and don'ts uh, properly um, in, uh, that, that should be uh, of your help. And then in the end, uh, we also inserted a very practical final recommendation as a checklist. It's more as a checklist to actually keep you um, keep you updated on the on the steps and on the ideas of how to follow and what the, the future uh, possibility for you can be. Uh, here you can see uh, the structure, the structure of, uh, of self-assessment tool. Uh, now I will pass again uh, the word to Ilaria that will go into more detail uh, to, on uh, each part of these uh, of the manual, also uh, recruiting the verification process that was done by our partner. 
floor is yours. Thank you, Marina. So I would like to move uh, to the, uh, the online version. Uh, just a couple of words about the, um, the activity that's, that we have done in uh, your Access Top 4 project and to, uh, to thank also the partners that uh, support us in the uh, development of the, of the manual. The first target of the manual when we have designed the project was your Access Network, but then we realized that it might be useful also for the researchers community. So at the, um, in December 2019, we have uh, um, issued a manual for the, uh, for the network, for your access, for the staff of your access centers to approach them to this new topic. And then we work on the online version, thanks to the collaboration with other colleagues from Work Package 8. In Slowly or? Yeah. Can so I start again from this slide. Yes, please. Okay. So this is the home page of the manual, uh, the online version. Now let's try to browse into the manual directly from your access website. And here you, we are. As you can see, your access uh, website, career development and manual for scientific entrepreneurship. This is the picture of the five steps. As Marina uh, told you, the five steps, uh, um, and now we can see, are, are explaining uh, the, the topic. Um, and what is important to say is that it is not a step from one to five, but you can move within the, uh, the self-assessment tool as you need. For example, this is the first step. Of course, we have renamed the, um, the steps uh, with, uh, uh, you know, simple and catchy, uh, and catchy uh, name. Okay, the first one, discover. Define a research result and its invention. The first part is a definition of the steps. What is important to say is that any, um, each step offer you key question to support you in understanding if that step is the right one for your research uh, stage. Um, where to get support? Okay, of course, you can have a first-hand information from your local your access centers, but if you need more specific detail and professional support, there you can find a list of uh, um, supporting uh, um, services intermediaries. What is important, and Marina told you before, is the related vocabulary. This is an added value of the manual because in uh, each step you find the related vocabulary in order to let you understand what we are talking about, and in particular when you are addressing to, um, um, to a supporting service to understand, to speak the same language, we would say. I give you an example also of the uh, vocabulary. Uh, the, uh, here we are. So a definition of the um, of the word. Uh, another step: research. Again, a definition. Key question. In this case, you have few, uh, more questions than the first one. And again, where to get support and the related vocabulary. And this is the same structures that you have followed for all the other uh, steps. So key questions, where to get support, and the related vocabulary. See, sometimes the vocabulary can be the same in, um, in two or more uh, steps, sometimes are uh, unique for, uh, for that steps. And, as, and again, as I told you, um, you can move within the, uh, the, the self-assessment. We have to wait a bit for uh, the connection. Here we are. Um, Marina told you about the do's and don'ts. Uh, you can find this section also in the online version. What is important to say here is that we have involved the uh, early stage researchers and leading researchers in focus groups activities when we were developing the manual. We wanted to get their uh, opinion, their impression about, uh, um, about entrepreneurship and scientific entrepreneurship. In order to have, uh, and here you can see top eight do's and don'ts, uh, okay, to support you in uh, um, addressing, in, um, in, in, uh, in getting more involved in the, in the topic. Uh, so this is a kind of peer-to-peer -peer activity. 
I would like uh, in this, uh, for this activity to thank the, the partner from, uh, from Israel uh, we work with uh, uh, in the organization of the, the focus group. We had two in Italy and two in, in Israel. Then the manual offer you a set of links of uh, bibliography um, useful for, uh, for searching more information and for getting support information website from European but also international level, um, EU funding programs, the major ones, uh, um, here you have uh, the list of um, the European uh, major uh, funding programs and, European, and Horizon Europe um, which has been recently launched and the bibliography that we have consulted in order to define the, um, the manual and that can, you can also read for your uh, uh, information. Um, the last part of the manual is the um, recommendations. Uh, again, a kind of do's and don'ts, uh, but um, with the difference to um, complete, to make the, the manual um, more friendly and, uh, and more easy to, uh, to understand. Um, also, the recommendation has been uh, uh, provided from peers, from researchers. Very easy to move into the, uh, the, online, uh, the online version. Again, the five major steps. Here we have the, uh, the list. And if you click um, on this link, you have the five steps with the definition, with the key question, we were uh, with the um, supporting services and the related vocabulary. Then you can find again, I would like to remind you the do's and don'ts, the recommendation, and if you want to know more about the topic, useful links. Again, it is very easy to find the easy to use manual. Um, go in the home page of your access website, career development section, and uh, another click on uh, we must wait a bit for uploading and click again you have uh, the uh, here we are entrepreneurship and the manual on scientific uh, entrepreneurship is on uh, is online for uh, for you um, I would like to go back on the um, on the presentation uh, to uh, to let you um, to let you know that in your access top four project we have uh, um, decided to um, to implement your access national portals of the uh, your access partners of our work package as a pilot initiative with an information session on uh, entrepreneurship what you find in for example your access italy but it's the same uh, path in all your access national portals of uh, italy spain israel hungary and greece is an information session that you can find in information and assistance with specific uh, um, information on special visa and resident permits. This is dedicated to international researchers coming from um, citizens of uh, non-EU countries willing to come to, um, to European countries or to Israel to uh, set up, to develop an uh, entrepreneur um, uh, path. National agencies uh, you can address to get more information on entrepreneurship, funding and grant programs, the major ones, and national accelerators and incubators uh, to understand also at national level what you can find about scientific entrepreneurship. As I said, it is a, a pilot initiative. We hope that all your access national portals will some, somehow uh, offer this uh, information, this information um, section in their your access uh, website uh, in order to um, attract researchers uh, uh, interested in uh, scientific entrepreneurship and to settle down uh, and, and start up uh, an, an, an 
entrepreneurship um, uh, career in, uh, in Europe. With this last uh, um, slide, we have uh, concluded our presentation. Um, we are uh, pleased to, uh, to be at your uh, disposal for any further information about the topic, about the, uh, the manual. And we hope that uh, uh, we have uh, um, somehow stimulated your interest in this uh, new topic for, uh, for your access and for the career development of uh, researchers. Thank you. Thank you. There, ladies, thank you so much for your presentation. It is such an important topic, and we always, always get asked by researchers from across the world, you know, what are the possibilities when I go to Europe and I would like to change from academia to industry, or I want to get involved with a startup, or you know, I would like to get on an entrepreneurial career. So this is this is a very, very important and useful topic for all the researchers that have been asking about that and the manual is fantastic thank you for all the work that you have been putting into that and for presenting um, this, um, uh, this topic to us today so with that i'd like to again thank you for your time uh, for your effort and energy um, i wish you a great rest of your day and um, hope to see you soon thank, thank you. you bye bye, -bye.